Now you're going to have some people say, hey David, you're not in Quilcha sales anymore, you're in a private sale. What's going on? Do you still keep the same standard of work? And I'm like, uh, yeah, there is only one fucking standard of work in this setup. And I think you all know why it is. <laughs> look at that. Precision, precision. There's a lovely set of steaks now, look at that. Oh, look at that, look at that. Just a little tip there. Just a little tip there. Make it perfect. Mmm. Nice. Oh no, 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 no. There's only one standard of work. So at the end of the day, we're all here to make a little bit of yen. Yen is yen. And yen's hard to come by. You know, in the middle of this uh, pandemic, things haven't got cheaper. If you go into the shop and buy a cup of coffee, it's still going to cost you 354 fucking yen. Ridiculous. You know, Asians right now in the world are getting a lot of bad press. Some of it deserved, for God's sake. Look where we are. But they get a lot of things right too. You know, the average state subsidised wage right now in Ireland is 350 euro, I think. It doesn't apply to me, you see, because I'm um, essential. But you have to ask yourself, what would you rather have a week? 350 euro or nearly 42,000 yen? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like I know, I'm sitting pretty much happier heading home on a Friday evening with my 152,000 yen. Pussy Patrol's on the scene. Pussy Patrol is here. There's the Pussy Pleaser now, look. I was just saying to him, you know, why, why are you always wearing tracksuits? And he says, hey, by right, I shouldn't be wearing any trousers. I need to get him off quick, get him back on quick. That's how it works. This, this really is just glorious weather to not be allowed out and not do anything. It's just brilliant, it makes you feel makes you feel on top of the world. It just makes you feel like going out and no no not going out. It just makes you feel like going not going anywhere. Just just it's nice weather. Definitely gonna get more vitamin D. That's a positive. Good weather always puts people in better form. Go out into our back garden and enjoy that. Have a few drinks the weekend. It'll be nice. So yeah. One life. Leave the fucking thing. Inside! Inside or two kilometers from your house. No further! This, this pandemic has brought out an enormous sense of patriotism in me. I feel a kinship with my fellow frontline staff and essential workers. I'm essential if you haven't heard. And um, you know, I feel it's my civic duty with the good weather and the extra laws that have been passed to help my fellow essential workers out. And if I see someone, just pull up, ask a few questions. And if I deem it necessary, just say, sternly, firmly, but nicely. I'm essential, I shouldn't even be talking to you, but if you don't get the fuck home, I'll put my toe up your hole. If I see any women out walking with their kids, or women, you can't show any weakness. You can't. You have to be firm, stern, but kind. And just say, get the fuck home! And take them ugly cunts with you! Even if the kids aren't ugly. You just have to be stern. Shock therapy. It's important. We're all in this together. Greg sitting in the machine there thinking, how can I make this more profitable for the IFA? I mean, Luminat, I mean, the farmer. How can I optimize? How can I make more money for that man? At the end of the day, that's what it's all about. The old yen. As much yen as possible. Things have reached an all time low in our house this evening. We're now watching Ancient Aliens. And because the two of us out of spite and laziness will not get up and get the remote control, we're going to suffer through it. Got up this morning and for the first time in a long time I had no coffee in the house and I need my coffee. I fucking need it. I went into the shop, the interesting thing to be doing. Because I'm um, There's a fucking pandemic out there! So I went in and you know I practiced social distancing and I used the uh, hand sanitizer and all that, got my coffee. You know, it was very stressful but it wasn't the best coffee but 355 yen for a coffee! Happy Friday. And just pulled up here in Rat Downey. Uh, 
Barry rang me this morning. He says, David, I'm heading out to your glorious wood. Uh, what's the directions out there? I said, bah, tell you what, chill the fuck out. I'll pull up and I'll wait for you and we'll go out together as one. Break. You know, an interesting fact about Red Downey, uh, males in Red Downey and the surrounding area own more blow up dolls per capita than any other town in Ireland. So, that's it. And that's true, that's on uh, Wikipedia. There he is, the glorious leader, the glorious leader. The original Stone Cold Cowboy. Just filling with a little bit of go go juice, has to be done, you know, you have to do it to keep yourself going. But I pulled out this rag, and what's so wonderful about it is. Who doesn't want to be part of that club? Okay, I know I want to. Like, who, who, who doesn't want to be part of that club? What? That's me sorted for the evening. I'm delighted to be back in the machine because, um, you know, there's a fucking pandemic out there! Please, please remember all you non-essential people out there. Stay in. We do what we do, so you don't have to. What this monster truck is going to do? What's that monster truck going to do? Clark's mad to do backflips himself. He's mad for every car, jeep, bike he has to do backflips. Bye, bye, bye. Can you do backflips on it? No. But you can fall off it, can't you? No, no. when I jump up in the air, I couldn't do backflips. Yeah, he does backflips where he jumps up in the air and lands on the back of his neck. And one of these days, we're going to have to go to A&E with him. Which is not... Ideal because of what virus? Fine, I won't do a backflip. Good man. What virus is rotting everyone's bum? I want to do this when I jump up in there. It's mm. great, I just care. So today I've decided to just do all the silly things that Vicky wants me to do to cheer her up, make her happy. All pointless stuff. All stuff that doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. But as long as she's happy, that's all that matters. If anyone's wondering what the definition of a stone cold cowboy is, that's seven years in now the wood, and she's feckin' mint. There's some man, Mick. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. The job. <laughs> That's the coolest motherfucker. Ah, it's very cool. Hey, bah, bah, Barry, you're very cool. <laughs> I don't know what they're celebrating. <laughs> Fucking job! Catalurian on the cheap, the only way to do it. You fit many a beast in that baby. Many a beast. Hey, where'd you get the big long spoon? I don't know. It's a dessert spoon, is it? I think it's a Knickerbocker Glory spoon. Far from Knickerbocker Glories, you were reared. So I was reared in the same house. It's probably not my spoon, so. No, I don't think it's your spoon. What you do all weekend? Uh, With them big arms. Saturday barbecue. Oh, isn't it fucking well for you? And watch films then, yes. I work Saturdays, so you don't work Saturdays. I didn't work the last two Saturdays. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a dickhead. Uh, I have to spend time with my family. Chill out. Do you get any Easter eggs? Yeah. How many? Anyone could have a fucking one. Did you get one? No, I didn't because I only like white chocolate and there was none left. Ugh. Hey, don't scratch! It must be great for you in your house. Why? Because even though there's a lockdown, it's still party time in your house. Like, there's loads of adults, teenagers, the crack is good. Like, adult conversation all weekend. All your kids are rarely. 
Everyone is ever in bed from your house. Live the dream. What'd you do, Dad? I played with the kids and I listened to an audio book about the Mesopotamian gods. It was interesting. I enjoyed it. There's no wonder you're fucked up in the head. I'm not fucked up in the head. I balance my head out by uh, doing certain things like filling the sock. <laughs> Did you fill the sock this weekend? No. No, you didn't. I don't fill socks. No, I know what you fill. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's here. There you go. You have big fucking arms. Ah, dude. <laughs> Don't like whinging about being tired, especially when it's my fault, but I am feeling it today. I'm feeling it today. All my own fault. Yeah, two reasons. One, a goddamn eager. Two, I stood up until half three Saturday night playing a computer game. And then, of course, the Easter Bunny arrived with eggs for the kids on Sunday morning. And he arrived in a very narrow window of time because Clark woke me at half six saying, Daddy! Daddy! The Easter Bunny's here! The Easter Bunny came! He's going outside! So I went downstairs. He was delighted. And, um, yeah. The Easter Bunny left a half-eaten carrot on the kitchen floor, which I taught myself was a nice little touch. <laughs> nice little touch. Fluffy fucking little prick. You know... No matter how many times I clock off in a day's work on a bank holiday Monday, it just always feels fantastic because you're after making all that fucking money, extra time and all that. But today's a little bit different because, uh, you know, I'm clocking off in a bank holiday Monday as an essential, essential worker. Which is special because it fills me with an enormous sense of well-being that I'm not only... Helping myself by making extra money, but I'm also doing my little bit, a little bit more for the country, a little bit extra, just putting in that little bit more of an effort. You know, putting my shoulder to the wheel, as they say. Essential. <sighs> Settling in for a night of um. Doing stellar daddy work. That's just how. That's just how I roll. I'm essentially here, Zai. Water dogs. I don't get it. Water, like water dogs. Knock out the soda. Go water dogs. Water dogs. You eat of it. <laughs> Gara, Gara, me and you have just figured out that Greg and Barry are more alike than we thought. There's Greg going around with a broken mirror. And there's Barry going around with a broken mirror. And the yeah, thing boy. they both also have in common is none of them were their fault. Yeah, but, yeah, but hey, at least Greg was saying it was another person's fault. Yeah, but well, how did that happen? The wind. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even you can't even unload anymore. That's how hungry the boys are. Look at Ba. Ba eat Ba. Ba's not fucking dying for timber around. Look at it. Ba eat Ba. Ba eat fucking Barry. Really cold. My my fucking bars. You bollocks. Ah, uh, no bother, Barry. No bother. He's a great lad. do with boss with me. Horse no timber for him. Another essential worker. Look how essential he looks. Look. Angry ba. Nah, he's not really angry. He just looks angry. Really, he's only a little kitten. A little kitten. I want a big swinging arm like that. Instead of my stupid one. My, my fucking bars. You touch my bars. If you touch it, uh, good man, Barry. Good man. Perfect, yeah. <sighs> he has me wore out. Can't keep it fed to him. Can't keep it. Be careful now, Barry. That's it. It's grand not to have to unload. I'm, I'm enjoying that. That's grand. Oh, there's a What's the orange justice? <laughs>